Okay, it's day two of the Pokemon Safari Zone, and before we go to the Safari Zone, I am going to go and look for this exclusive pop-up shop. So I need to get myself an Uber because it's gonna take me two hours or so to get there. So this location, this Pokemon store pop-up shop is supposed to have exclusive merch, especially I saw that they might have Korean Pikachus, which I don't have any, and that'd be really cool to have. So we're gonna try and go there right now and see what's inside the exclusive shop. So first off, where's my Uber? All right, we got an Uber. It's gonna come here in two minutes. First things first though, since the pop-up shop opened at 10 in the morning, and currently it's like 8.30, hopefully I can go there early enough to grab some food and relax, and hopefully it's not a long line. Okay, that was a long car ride. It took like an hour. I'm not great with car rides, so my stomach is sort of churning right now. We have 30 minutes, so I can at least walk over there and uh, see what's going on for the pop-up shop. All right, we have arrived and uh, there's a lot of people waiting, I'm assuming. Maybe they're waiting either to get into the shop or hopefully they're just here shopping. It's right in the front. You can see it. It looks so good. We've arrived at the Pokemon store. There's a huge line and a queue and you need to reserve to get in. So I need to wait like an hour. So in the meantime, let's explore the exterior. So it looks like a old Korean, I don't want to say temple, but that's the design. And if you go along the outside, which no one looks at, these images are beautiful, actually. Swablu right here. And what do you think they're looking at? Growlithe's jumping in, too. They have Pikachu and Eevee right here in the direct front. And inside, you can see Rowlet back there. You can see ho -Oh Luhia right there. And I really, really love the Pikachus at the top here. I just wish they had those plushes. I know they exist but they're super expensive and they're hard to find online. If you ever find them, let me know. I would love to have them. They're also showcasing a lot of these. Oh, those are cute. Those Eevees are cute. So this showcase here is supposed to be all the prizes that you can get here. I wouldn't call them prizes, but it's more like gachapon. You can get these keychains right here. I saw this one down here, this Eevee. I think you gotta buy all of them if you can, nine of them. 4,000 won each. I don't know what that is, but they're cute. Maybe I get one if I can. Let's see if this actually works. So if we use our card. Oh, it works. Oh, what did we get? It's Jolteon. Looks like they got the Pikachus on this side. The Pokemon store with Oddish, Vulpix right there. Everyone's taking photos. And then you got your three stars here, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander right here. Look at Charmander's teeth. A little angry guy. <laughs> hey, look, then there's a Mimikyu there, which is really cool. That's a very interesting Pokemon for them to choose. So that's the exterior. Uh, how about we get a top-down view of it? Top-down view. I think I got too many of them. <laughs> Let's see what they look like. Yep, there's six of them. I didn't know I got that many, but they're all different, so it's cool. Umbreon here looks really nice and also Espeon together. It's a combination of those two. I was looking for Glaceon, but Leafeon will have to do. I traded somebody for Leafeon actually. And then we got our three original Kanto evolutions right here. They're cute, they're so small. All right, and I also got food. So I might as well just eat while I wait. Okay, we're finally inside, and let's start off with the plushes right here. We have the Pikachu plush. Huge Pikachu plush, actually. Above the Pikachu, we have Latias right here, and Latios right here, but then Groudon here, and I've never seen this one before, but a long, shiny Rayquaza. Ooh, it's malleable, so you can actually form it into a shape that you want. And then, Really cute Bulbasaur with the winky eye. He's a fluffy one. Oh, we also have one of these from the Pokemon Center. Only two left, one left now. Here we have Pokemon cards, Korean Pokemon cards, and sleeves. Cute sleeves, what kind of sleeves do they have? Oh, that's nice, I haven't seen that one before. 
We've seen this, definitely. This one I have not seen, but I'm sure it's common. These are boxes of cards. Or you can actually grab them. That's, I thought they'd be more secure than that. The Go Plus here in Korea. Some mats. Looks like they're just simple ones. Red, green, blue. Then we have more cards. Should I buy this? No, no, no. Although, these are always fun to open. Oh, so are these. But they're Korean. <laughs> what else do we have? Oh, wow. EV Heroes here. Ah, uh, maybe we do buy these. Oh, is this 151? I can't tell. This is not. This is... I don't know what this one's called, actually. Oh, deck boxes here. Moving from the cards, we have keychain little mini Pikachus, Korean ones, which are cute. I thought they would have the bigger ones. How many do they have? So they're different, right? This is one that has like a yellow dress. Very, very cool. And then this one is like a light blue dress. I think they only have two versions. I might have to get one of each. I thought they had bigger versions of the plush. Maybe they did and they're sold out, but I might grab one and one. Also, they have these little bags here. Looks like they have a nice embroidery of Pikachu on them. Let's see if there's more. Nope, just this one. Very nice. It could be a special edition. It seems like this. everything in this section might be special to Korea especially these right here maybe this is a good example of that bag right here so they have this right here which looks like I, I maybe it's their way of sending letters over here special letters but it looks like it opens up and has the design of all the evolutions on it and then it looks like you can have each one special so there's Eevee there or maybe it's just Eevee and Pikachu here like these two right here this is something separate. It looks like Pikachu and Eevee are very heavy here in uh, Korea. Along with these little pins? Hard to tell what that is. I think it is a pin though. This is a Pokemon wine glass, which we will not be able to see it, but let's assume it has Umbreon and uh, Sylveon on it because look at that. The outside or the exterior looks really nice. So maybe it looks like that. And then we have little magnets here a sylveon magnet with pikachu let me have pikachu right here at night time oh and then these are tassel badges oh different colors blue and pink and what is this no clue what it is but it looks really nice mm, i'm assuming maybe there's like a fan pens or it's just simply a box that looks really nice i think it's a pen because you can see the pen right there so that makes perfect sense and there's that glass that we were looking at earlier. Well, the box anyways. And this, I don't know if they have this for sale. They've only had like 20 per shop. But this is a light, a lantern, a Pikachu lantern. On the back, I think is the Sylveon design. So, on a, yeah, you can't get to the back side of it. But this is exclusive to Korea. And maybe also to here. We got Violet Plum socks here, Lucario sock as well. A large variety of socks actually that you usually see at the Pokemon Center. So nothing too different here. Uh, Tatsugiri socks, Mew and Eevee socks right here. Another Tatsugiri sock right there. And I saw this right here. Alolan Vulpix plush, very cute. Winter days, it says. They also have Vulpix here, and a couple of the evolutions here. Looks like there's only two of them. Oh, nope, three. Oh, Jolteon's in the back. I told you Jolteon was in the back. The keychains look like they're terrestrialized keychains. So we got Pikachu here. We have a Quaxley here. Fido right here. Way Coco right here. Kamo and Sprigatito. There's also the Jigglypuff and a couple other ooh this feels cute key rings here snorlax is right here but i feel like we've been sold out because it's just these four now this seen at the pokemon center before this one too they got some uh little fit pokemon fit items it's 
So you've seen these in many of the videos. Nothing too spectacular here, but they are new and maybe you can find some that are sold out in Japan if Korea has some special ones. It looks like they have a few Gen 6, a golf towel. What is this? These are many different designs. You have Ditto, you have Pikachu right here. Oh wow, they like golf and Pokemon together now. So you put your golf balls in Pikachu's head. This is a T. Oh, that's crazy. So these I've never seen before. Maybe they exist, but I've never seen them. This looks like a diorama set. Looks insane if you can get all six of them. If you can get all six that look like this, that's pretty cool. The little Nihilite collection is right here with Mimikyu. Let's see what else they have. It also comes with these three. And then flip the box around and you also get these opportunities. So one in six chance. Whoa, they have special golf balls with Pokemon on it. Squirtles on this one. How are, how are they? Oh, they really feel like golf balls. They have Jigglypuff in the golf ball form too. That's so cute. And then a variety set with the three starters and Pikachu. Can we turn it to see their faces? No, it's very difficult, but you can sort of see them. Now you can see them. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. Pikachu is just turned too much. More dioramas for your collection. And then the Poke piece, you've seen it many times in Japan, but we have a lot of the Poke piece items here. These are popular in Japan and they're probably very popular here too. Although they're still in stock, so maybe they're not, but I can see how they sell. And they have Japanese words on it. So maybe it's directly imported. Now we reach the plus section, or one of them. There's a lot of plus section here, but we have Lapras at the top. Munchlax, a huge Munchlax here. Looks like Screamtail down here. So these are all Pokemon Center quality. And then this one's not quite Pokemon Center quality has the partner's name here. For Totodile here, it's another winky one. That is a weird winky face. But it says partner's name, so you can put your name on it. Sobble's down here, which is really a new one for us, actually. I haven't seen a Sobble lately. We got Palafin here, Mudkip, some Poke Piece plushes here, some is this? These aren't fit series, but it's a ditto. Ah, see the winky face. That is really strange for me. And then a sleeping munchlax. It's cute. You got this Terra Cool cup. I like that design. Pokemon necklaces. Pikachu and Mew right there. Some jars. A clear file here. We have a lot of the Terra series here. We got bows, mirror. So, plushes on the other side now. Here's that Rayquaza that we were talking about earlier. It's very molded. You can basically, you can have it do whatever you want. That's a cool plush. We have Torchic here, Soft Squirtle. Some pillows right here. More pillows. These I've seen before in the Pokemon Center. This one. I haven't seen it lately, but they were there. And then these pillows definitely exist currently, I believe. This is from last year, though. I feel like we're getting to the point where it's like exclusive items that were at the Pokemon Center in Japan that maybe no longer are in the shop because we have Hisui and Growlithe right there, which I can barely find anymore. So it's cool to find this guy again. We have Sleeping Piplup here, Sleeping Pikachu here, Snorlax, who's probably always sleeping, Charmander up at the top, of course you have to put him at the top. Gengar right here in plastic, unfortunately. We have probably the most amazing cup. I didn't see this before, at least at the shop. Obviously it's from the Pokemon Center. I remember this series coming out. But I really actually like how this looks. And Substitute, that's the coolest detail right there. Substitute's right there. I don't know, we'll think about it. ZZ will be mad at me if I get it though. But I really like how it is. It's sort of fun. His many emotions right there. We have a nice trap inch plate. The big plushes right there. Well, the hug you plushes. We got Mr. Mime right here. Pommel right here. Tatsuki pillows down here. This is a very nice pillow. I remember this. And maybe not a pillow, but more of a cushion. The Quaxley merch is here. Remember the emo Quaxley from Japan? Well, if you don't remember it, you're gonna get a big glimpse of basically anything that they could create, like keychains, uh, 
Looks like notepads, plushes, diaries. There's the plushes. They basically have them all here. It looks like a full set here. Putting these, yeah. I'm wondering if they have the, yes they do, they do, they do, right here too. The one with the low tad and the oopers. And, ooh, Pichu's right here. Oh, also they have this right here where you can go and create your own Pokemon. Looks like these are five options. Which one would you want to create? I think Bulbasaur looks the best, but Jigglypuff could be cool to snap. Snap by hand, fit it in, and finish. Oh, they have more. They have Eevee yeah, where you can create, and they have Pikachu. And why is a substitute doll here? <laughs> Wait, there's more. Greninja's here. And Mew, and Mewtwo. Slowpoke. Brigatito. Is there more? Because I keep finding more. No, I don't think so. Build a Greninja will be insane. Well, this series came... That's like three years ago. I remember this from Okinawa when I went there. Ah, it's been a long time. And this Pokemon in a Dream, I don't know when that came out. This could be many, many years ago. But there's cups here. Pikachu cup and a Clefairy cup. And then, I guess they have slippers? Snorlax slippers. It's so cute actually. What's this one? Pikachu and Jigglypuff sleeping. Have a blanket here. And what's this? Acrylic wall clock. Oh my goodness. I want to know what that really looks like other than this box. Snorlax is such a cute design. And looks like they have onesies here too. Or maybe robes, bathrobes. Back to the plushes. We still have more they have Christmas Pikachu here from three years ago, two years ago. It's that Christmas toy factory. Got a Pichu here, Chikorita here, Slowpoke here. Nice old pig there. The other side looks like items from the Pokemon Center that... I forgot what this one was, but these are the ones that look like they have the Hyper Beam characters. They look like this, like the pillow right here, Snorlax. All the design of this right here on all this merch. I think these are towels. And then these are keychains. So, a lot of Pokemon Center non-exclusive items here. I mean, still cool to get if you didn't have a chance to get it in Japan or anywhere else. Then you have Tatsugiri's here. That's the series that came out this year. Looks like they got the big plushies here. We got the Togepi. We got the Charger Bug here. The Marill. They're always so soft too. And is this who I think it is? It is Wismer. Directly from Japan. Nothing too different with these ones. Just really large though. Large and in charge. Well, Pokemon Summer has come. I don't remember this one. I don't know if it was in... I think this was in America and not in Japan because I don't remember these designs. What's this? This is a ballpoint pen with a slowpoke on it. And then this is a whipping tumbler which looks like this. Definitely non-Japanese look. It's very... You can sort of tell with the merch when it's from America and when it's not. I don't know, there's just a way that they create it. That was t-shirts right there. And then this notebook, they're just bigger. Like Japan wouldn't put the spiral ring that huge. It still looks cool though. I would definitely get it. It looks like Score Bunny's background a little bit. They have this one too, Pokemon Summer has come. That and it's also in English. Oh, oh, whoa, what's that? This is cute. Gorapadak, I guess that's Psyduck, in the rain. It's like Totoro, that is so cute. It's a clear file. I sort of like this. I don't need it though, but I like it. I want to take a photo of this. This looks so cool. Oh, they also have other ones too. So you can have all the cast form in Psyduck. You can have Gumi in Psyduck. And you can have Slowpoke in Psyduck. Oh, it comes with stickers too. They have a sticker option, which I might actually think about. Look at the design. It's so cool. So basically it's that clear file all in one so i don't have to buy two i can just have this they also have a toothbrush cap so you put this on your tooth what's it going to look like is it random or is it like actually look like something because this is tempting but it has the design of everything on it so what what is it it's not this this is not a tooth this is a cup right not a toothbrush cap is it would you put it upside down in there i actually don't know let's see this is a toothbrush stand has Pikachu, Slowpoke, Psyduck. And you can also get a bag with Psyduck and Castle and Friends. And then if you don't want, you can get this one. 
I like the other one now. I like the cast form one. Okay, these might be uh, exclusive because there's a bunch of different dittos here with different faces. Let's go through them all. So we have ditto, regular ditto. We have super excitedly happy ditto. We have... This one has an open face, so eyes same as the first ditto, but his mouth is wide open. This is fat ditto, eating with food in his mouth. That's actually really cute. And I think that's the only ones I can find right now. Can we, can you tell if any are different? It's very difficult. There's so many, but on this thing, which has Rowlet by the way, is a bunch of Pokemon Fit plushes. It's like a circle, so we can go around, although it's getting crowded, but there's a lot of plushes, including Kangaskhan right here. Regular Ditto, found another one. Oh, I found this Pikachu one with more Fit plushes on it. And has this Ditto, crying upset Ditto. And this is angry, angry Ditto. Oh, and this is sleeping Ditto. Oh, another blissfully sleeping Ditto. I think that's like nine. Oh, we have Dizzy Ditto right here. There's some um, Sylveon right here. Looks like down here we have more plushes. Let's see if we can find anything that is exclusive in, or limited in Japan. At the entrance we have this little wall, which if you go on the other side, you have this Pikachu right here. And then look at this, you have the three starters and it looks almost, it reminds me of Japan, but obviously this is Korea. So I think this has to do with like Maybe this is their authentic way, way to separate rooms. I think Japan has a similar idea or mindset when they separate rooms too, back in the day. So, pretty cool. And you got this shot right here, where you have the Pokemon in the front with that cool background. That Pikachu Psyduck series has keychains. This is actually pretty fire. It like, maybe if you put light through it, it might have a little color in that blue area right next to the Pikachu. Similarly like this in the pink one with the slowpoke and the Psyduck. These are really well made. I like this. I've never seen this series. I think it's a Korean only one. Like this one with the Quagsire here and Psyduck with the trees. And the last one is Gumi and Psyduck right here. Wow. This series is sort of fun. And we have Pikachu and Psyduck. I think it's a towel that rolls down. I'm not entirely sure, but these little clear files look amazing. I don't need clear files though, but I really want them. This Pokemon store has something here. It looks like these are 100 items that you can get in. Are they in this Pokeball? Is that what that is? Oh my God, there's a wall right there. Hold on, let's go to the wall. I don't think they're in here. There's no way. No way, it's this. So these, they're, maybe they're like little badges, but it's so random. Oh, there's a Pachetis right there. So you're telling me if you buy this, oh, this one's cool, I want that. There's no way you can get what you want. It's random for 100, one out of 100, that's a 1% chance to get one of these. That's tough. I guess you really are picking a Pokemon then. I really, 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 really want this. But I'd be happy with like, Maybe 10 of these? Should I do this? This is insane. Let me know which one is your favorite. See if you can pause the screen or go back in the video and look at it again. I'll try to keep as still as possible. All right, we're just gonna grab this one, this one, and this one. All right, we got our bag. We have this and, oh, I think if you spend enough money, you can get one of these things. So you get the Eevee mask and then these looks like a card and then a, maybe a stamp book and a keychain. Oh yeah, they're stamping it right now. Thank you. Oh, they gave me two of each. I guess I spent too much. So they gave a stamp book that looks like this and inside that stamp book, they have this Pokemon store. I think it's a sticker. Okay, so that was the Pokemon pop-up shop here in Korea. Uh, really amazing stuff. You can see that I got a whole bunch of items in this cool little bag. They gave you this bag, the Pokemon store, and you can have little designs with the new starters on it. But my favorite thing that I got, I definitely had to get those plushes. Very, very cool. And the other one as well. So 
definitely something you should check out if you're here in Korea during this little safari zone. So the shop is actually open for another week, maybe two actually. I think it goes all the way to October 10th. So you do have some time if you're here in Korea or if you're visiting. And if you're not able to go, that's okay. I'm pretty sure they'll have other pop-ups in Korea because I've noticed more and more I'm starting to see these Pikachus be paraded around online. So keep an eye and keep a lookout for information about these. And then if, if, if I see something, I will also let you know on this channel. So remember to subscribe. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all you guys. Really makes this really fun to do. Peace out.